Grace and peace to all. I greet you in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I am Pastor Ben Free, the pastor here at Spring Hill United Methodist Church in High Point, North Carolina. And we are blessed to welcome you to our weekly Wednesday night devotional, a time where we step away from a long week, a time where we pull ourselves away from the stressful day and we take time to just lift up thought and go to God in prayer where we give God praise and thanksgiving for all that God has done in our lives. We are truly thankful that you have chosen to join us. And if you're ever in the triad area, come play, pay us a visit. We have worship service every Sunday morning at 11 a.m. And you can also catch our services on our YouTube channel, Spring Hill United Methodist Church, as well as following us on Facebook. So once again, welcome, and we are grateful that you are with us. Brothers and sisters, oftentimes the Bible refers to wisdom in the feminine principle. And I said, as we prepare for this Sunday, the Mother's Day holiday, it brought me to reflect on those scriptures that spoke to wisdom. And then I thought to the wisdom of a mother, the wisdom that a mother gives to a child, a family. So for this devotional, I wanted to lift up several scriptures from Proverbs that speak to this wisdom and just come from a thought of just being thankful for the wisdom of a mother. So go with me now to Proverbs chapter 3, and I will be reading verses 13 through 18. Proverbs chapter 3, verses 13 through 18. Happy are those who find wisdom and those who get understanding. For her income is better than silver and her revenue better than gold. She is more precious than jewels, and nothing you, can, you desire can compare with her. Long life is in her right hand. In her left hand are riches and honor. Her ways are ways of pleasantness, and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to those who lay hold of her. Those who hold her fast are called happy. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Brothers and sisters, I often reflect when I see these verses lifting up the righteousness, the peace that comes with wisdom. And in this Feminine principle, we, we understand this allowance for things to grow and blossom and develop understanding as the scriptures speak to. I often think back to my mother and those things that were instilled in me. And being that I lost my mother many years ago, there's not a day that goes by where I don't think about a, 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 a memory or an opportunity that I had the chance to learn from her. Reflecting back on just the security and knowing that my mother would be there for me. I remember there was a time when I was about nine and about the fourth grade and I remember I was having some issues at school. and I remember not being known to myself. 
I remember going to the school and all my classmates were in a buzz and they said, uh, we, we have someone here that's visiting us. And, and we used to have this little work room uh, between classrooms where, you know, teachers could go and do stuff. But they said, someone's in that work room and I think they're coming here for our class and we didn't know. So then as we were getting ready to start the school day, all of a sudden that door pops open and believe it or not, my mother walks out to spend the day with me in my classroom. Now, mind you, this was the 80s and my mother was a teacher. So you, you, you felt the, the repercussions of, of paying for a substitute teacher back in those days. But nonetheless, my mother sacrificed the day of work to come and sit in that classroom to make sure I was doing what I was supposed to dedicating herself and sacrificing just to make sure she showed me that I'm going to be here to ensure that you are doing what you're supposed to do. Something that's stood out with me through the years and been influential in how I try to parent and, and looking at just that security of knowing that I had a mother who was going to be there in the bad times as well as the good times gave me strength. You know, often I, I, I think back to, you know, my father had a demanding career where he had to travel. So a lot of times he was traveling on the weekends. And I remember my mother would have to uh, take care of myself and my brother after a long work week, but never complained and often brought us together and we had good times and good fun and never worried about that, never showed signs of stress. And I remember those things and I'm truly thankful because they have guided me. But it speaks to that sacrifice. And brothers and sisters, when I look back at our scripture lessons, I think about that young teenager in Mary who sacrificed her reputation, possible ridicule, possible punishment when she became pregnant with Christ. But she said, I will follow you. She placed her faith before her fear, that sacrifice. I think about how she sacrificed and having to flee her home in order to give birth to the Christ child. But she placed her faith before fear, the wisdom, the knowledge of a mother understanding the will of God and submitting to it. I think about that time where Christ was on the cross and Christ understanding Mary's pain at watching a son suffer, but remembering her sacrifice and her wisdom, Christ ensured while being beaten and abused. He remembered and looked at that disciple whom he loved and said, this is your mother. Looked at Mary and said, this is your son, ensuring that his mother would be taken care of because he understood the sacrifice and wisdom of a mother and felt the mother's love. Brothers and sisters, during this time, we, we often celebrate and say the I love you's and have a great meal, but I want us to truly reflect on the power of a mother's love and wisdom and the sacrifices made on our behalf. I think about the grandmothers that step in and help out and do so many things and sacrifice because of their wisdom, their understanding of the responsibility. Because with that title mother comes many accolades. A mother is a teacher, 
The mother is a nurturer, a caregiver, a provider, an advocate. All these things come with that title of mother. And for that, we are thankful. We look in the scriptures at the role of women in the early church, bringing those believers and followers of Christ to their home and ensuring they were safe and feeding them because of the wisdom of a mother, a woman who knew the will of God and understood the purpose. So brothers and sisters, I pray this time that we will reflect and truly show the love that is so deserved by our mothers and those who have been motherly figures, those who have nurtured us, those who have cared for us, those who have done all these things in sacrifice with the wisdom of a mother. I often think, where would I be if it wasn't for my mother and my neighborhood mothers who often uh, provided and cared for me just as if I was their own. The wisdom and knowledge of a mother. So as we celebrate, let's truly celebrate all the things that mom means to us on this Mother's Day. And with that thought, brothers and sisters, I ask that you go with me in prayer at this time. Let us pray. Gracious and merciful God, we come to you truly thankful. Thankful for the wisdom of a mother. The wisdom that only a mother can instill in us. All the titles that a mother can hold. All the sacrifices of a mother. Your word tells us that those things cannot be measured. But we understand that it is by you, Father. We are blessed to have mothers who share and instill that wisdom that we see in your word. So we pray now for all those who are gathered with us. We pray now that you will empty us out. We pray that your Holy Spirit will abide with us. We pray now for your strength and we are truly grateful for your grace and your mercy that has brought us this far and we pray that it will continue to carry us through the remainder of our week. We just pray over everyone who is dealing with uh, illness, disease. We pray for those who are dealing with financial hardship. We pray for those who are dealing with home situations, personal situations that are taking their toll. We just pray for those that just need a moment of peace. We pray for those recovering from surgical procedures. We pray for those who are performing procedures. We pray for those who are caretakers. We pray for those who are assist, assisting through this pandemic, those frontline workers who have sacrificed. We pray for those who are distributing vaccines and helping to secure a solution. We pray for our nation. We pray for our leadership. We just pray this time that your providence will, will reign and guide us in these times. Your word reminds us to go 
to you in thanksgiving. So we are truly thankful for all that you have done. We are thankful for all that you are presently doing. And we are thankful for all that you will do, Father God. We are truly thankful. We're truly thankful for the sacrifice of Christ, laying down his life so that we may have life. And that life is a life of love. So as we reflect on our mothers and that wondrous title of mother, let us reflect from a place of love that is shown to us through the love of Jesus Christ, shown to us through your steadfast love, Father God, for sending us a Savior that brought salvation and promise of new life to us. So we pray that this time be uplifted and we pray that all those thoughts and concerns that haven't been voiced, that are in the minds and hearts of those sharing this moment with us, we just pray that you will hear them and just lift them and bring peace to all, that same peace that your word speaks of that is brought through wisdom and understanding and knowledge of you, Father God. So we thank you. We give you all the honor, praise, and glory, and we ask all these blessings and gifts in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. And we all say together, amen. Brothers and sisters, I pray that it is well with your soul. And once again, we thank you for just taking this time with us to step away from everything, to give God praise and glory. And we pray that you have a blessed remainder to your week. And please, don't hesitate to contact us and lift up your prayer concerns and thoughts because we are praying for you. So it is with that, I bid you peace in the name of Jesus Christ. Have a blessed remainder to your evening. Amen. Amen.